Good morning. Hello everyone. Hope you all well with good health. Today we are preparing fafra. It's a one of the popular Gujarati recipe and mostly it is served during the Sera, which is after Navratri. There is a 10th day of Vijaya Dasmi and that day most of the Gujarati people eat this and most of the shops of this fast food and the snack shops they are also making and this is kind of the program but they are the flat and long so let's get started for the fafra for fafra or in gujarati you can say fafra or pata gathiya so for that we require one cup of chickpea flour or you can say besan and i'm going to save it we require to take off all the lumps from the besan after saving besan i'm going to add salt per taste so it's less than half a teaspoon i'm using here pinch of hing very little and less than half a teaspoon is 1/8 teaspoon of turmeric powder and pinch of baking soda with this i'm using only 1 teaspoon of oil first mix all well we are starting to add the water but be careful slowly slowly it only goes 3 to 4 tablespoon of the water in this basin so slowly slowly add the water and mix them well and we are preparing not so soft and not too hard medium dough we are preparing from this it would only takes 3 to 4 tablespoon of water So you can see here our dough is ready now the main procedure is to knead it we require to knead it for 2 to 3 minutes properly so we get very nice soft and fluffy fafra if it's sticking in your hand just apply little oil and start to knead it again So here as you can see I have taken all this dough on the plate and I'm flattening it and adding half a teaspoon of carom seed and half a teaspoon of whole crushed paper corn mixing them and now again I'm starting to knead it and if it required you can use a little oil on your fingers so it will help you to knead your dough properly main thing is use this both both the mixing hand use this both bottom of your palm just to knead your dough only this is the main procedure kneading in the fafra otherwise this recipe is very simple very quick and very easy with less ingredients as we all know besan is very sticky element so if you require at the time you can use slowly slowly drops of the oil so you can avoid sticking with this with your hand but it requires to knead it for 3 to 4 minutes till it gets nice and soft let our oil get hot meanwhile we are preparing fafra for fafra i have applied little layer small layer of oil and i'm dividing this dough in equal bowls i'm going to roll them in cylindrical shape the same i'm first trying to 
make all the roll to roll our pata gat here you require rectangle wooden board or like this kind of the steel plate rectangle have good tray steel tray and use your both bottom of palm and I'm using this and trying to roll our gat here So here I have rolled fafra and now I'm going to use clean knife the edges where there it is a sharp if it's thick here try to make it thin and with the use of sharp knife So you can see here our fafra is ready and the same way I have rolled all this fafra here. Do not get disappointed if your fafra is not rolling properly. Try it, you will definitely get good result from this. I have rolled this fafra and now our oil is also ready. I am first checking oil with my small fafra. Yeah, it comes up so that means that oil is ready so now you can see our oil is ready and I am placing this whole fafra to fry it we want only the yellowish color of the fafra it will come up and it will start to float on the oil that means that your fafra is ready Flip it and fry it both sides. Traditionally, it is far fry served with chutney and you can call in English dip. So, four dip we require one tablespoon of oil. I already have used here. I'm using here sunflower oil. With that, I'm using one teaspoon of mustard seed. Once all mustard seeds are crackled, at the time I'm using here chopped green chili. One green chili I have used. With this, I'm using very little pinch of mint. And I'm going to roast green chili. Now I'm throwing down the flame and using one fourth cup of chickpea flour and half a cup of water first and I'm going to break all the lumps of this flour. <laughs> Once it is smooth paste, now I'm using one cup more water, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder salt for taste taste two teaspoon of sugar and of citric acid mix them well and let it cook till whole chutney gets thick and covers like a binding with the water and more pot for roasted salad and in Gujarati we say sambharo and it is with the cabbage and carrot you can see here we got one cup of cabbage shredded and one cup half cup of carrot shredded and I'm using here one teaspoon of mustard seed mustards are crackled and I'm using pinch of hing with this I'm adding cabbage and carrot salt for taste half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and very little half a teaspoon of sugar mix well 
and gently toast it. Switch off the flame and our sambaro or you can say roasted salad is ready. Mix well. So within 2 minutes here our roasted salad is ready. Do not cook it more on flame otherwise it will start to release its water. From Gujarati cuisine, fafra is ready. It is served with a chutney and sambaro and I have fried here green chilies and sprinkled some salt on the top. Traditionally this is served the same way. Thank you for watching. Hope you all have enjoyed. See you all next week. Till then bye bye.